Sorry. <clears throat> Rewind. Um, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. So like I've this my amazing husband. My amazing, amazing husband. It's just so long. It's been 20 years. Woo! Let's do it. Let's go. I actually knew Adrian before I knew Claude. That's right. I was signed to uh, a production company that Adrian was signed to, and, mm -hmm. and both Adrian and I were signed to the same record label. Claude was also mm -hmm. part of that production company family. Um, and I had a girl group. He had a, uh, yeah, he a was a singer. Group. R &B. He was a, yeah. 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 Why? <laughs> R&B. You know, because people say boy band, and then you think in sync. Oh no, no, no! It's like not pop. No, yeah, it was yeah. definitely yeah. It was an R and B, and that was like, yeah. Yeah. That was the thing. That that was the thing back then. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't my thing. I never. I'm really, glad it was your thing for that really, time because yeah, it would have okay, never bought us. Fair so enough. yeah, we we met there. Um, we met in 1999, um, but I I didn't really remember. I remembered everything. I know, and I feel I remembered, bad about that. I'm telling you, so we recorded out of Newark. Newark, New was, Jersey, it, yeah, yes. There was, a, there was a home studio there where mm. everybody recorded out of. And I remember the first time Claude walked into the house. Really? I rem Claude, I'm telling you, I remember this so vividly. And I remember <laughs> saying to myself, seriously, and these are the words I said to myself, okay? Yeah. The words were, Man, if I could get a girl like that, I'd be good. So He's, that was- You told me this before. No, 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 listen, Clark, yes. listen to me. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. I'm telling you, it is one of the most pivotal moments in my life. Like seeing you for the first, we didn't even talk. I think we met and I like shook your hands. But I remember thinking, man, if God had given me a pen and the ability to draw the perfect person, like aesthetically for me, it was you. And, and the sad thing is that I don't think she noticed me. I think I was going through some stuff during that time. Yeah, well, we, we were both in fairly relation, en yeah. entangled. Yeah, we yeah, were entangled, yes, in other, in other um, situations. Yeah. And you know what's so funny? I remember thinking, oh, he's cute. Who is he? And they always referred to him as the West Indian guy of the group. Yeah, I'm from Trinidad, so yeah. yeah the West Indian guy of the group was the one. And you had a little mole, well, you still have it there. And I was like, oh, the West Indian with the, with the, with the beauty mark right there. He's really, he's cute. And I thought that, Lord is my witness. I would not lie at all. Fast forward to 2002, and Adrian was doing this really big um, production of I Do. And I knew Claude was gonna be there too. Man, the way I started to plot. Really? And what? You, you never told I me I was this. like, I didn't care about the video. I didn't care about, I frankly didn't even care about like music at that time. I, I, I could have taken it or, le Guys. Or, or left it. But I was like, I got three days, three days to make something happen. So that was all that was on my mind. I had my game Damn. on 25, I'm telling you. I'm not you. gonna lie, I, I, and I won't lie. No. I, I, yeah, I was not there. I didn't think, I mean, I was excited to see you there. It wasn't and for I was you excited. to be there. It's all good. But then we finished the video and we sat down in front of that elevator and we talked and I learned so much about him. I learned about his family. I learned that he was in uh, he was at Yale. Well, guys, do you remember the first question that I asked you? <laughs> guys? The first question she asked me is it was a fair question, which was I feel bad about asking that question now that I'm an adult I was, and I, I was have old. I was twenty You were twenty three and I was twenty one. So it was a fair question because a lot of my she asked me, Do you have kids? And the the answer was no, um, which was the right answer for her. I, <laughs> I was twenty, guys. She was just like, uh, uh. You know when you're twenty one. We're 21, not even gonna go down this path. You just you want yeah. a clean slate. You don't. You know there's a lot of difficulties with that, and there there's also beautiful bonus children that are amazing, and that's not. But at twenty one, that's not just where I wanted to start, and I just wanted to give myself a fair shot, and I thought I cannot. I remember I, I literally said. Before we even began, I was mm -hmm. like, you have children? It was five in the morning and I was like, all right, yep. I gotta go. And, and I'm not gonna lie, he got in there a little bit. Right into the heart. Yes. Right here. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this guy's really cool. And he was graduating, he came from the Bronx. Um, he was, gra I'm not gonna lie, I was like, wow, what an accomplished guy. He was graduating from Yale, um, like in a few weeks. 
And I was like, wow, this guy is very special. But anyway, long story short, <laughs> he got in a little. And then we had our first official date. Yes, we did. Which was, we went to Cafe Wa, came and then we me. came, hung out. Yeah. And then afterwards, I think you wanted like a little kiss. And I was like, no. <laughs> or really? I, you you had, said no? I, I, I don't remember that, but, but if that's what happened, I think maybe I it gave all you a happened little... the way it was supposed to. Yes. Yes. Now I remember. Yes. yes. A very quick. Yes. It was quick, but it was very meaningful. Yes. So that was that. Yeah. I was kind of, I, I did not know what I was doing in life at that time. I was 21. I was kind of, I was doing this girl group thing, but I don't, I, I was working a thousand jobs. I had like, well, not a thousand. I was working three jobs. Yeah, guys, I was a makeup artist a waitress and a dance teacher for Children's Day Society. And um, I was kind of struggling for a while. And um, and then you were graduating from Yale. Yeah. And you kind of were just that waiting, right, for your uh, music career to take off. Well, you know, it, it's interesting because I was on a trajectory that everyone said that that's what I should do, right? In the sense that, oh, you're lucky enough to have a, a record deal and lucky enough to be working with amazing producers and yeah. have this opportunity. But it never really sat with me. So when I graduated, I, don't, I didn't feel like I had direction. And I certainly didn't feel like I wanted to pursue music with any fervor. It just took some time for me to like build up the courage to decide that that's, that wasn't the path I was going to take. So I, I, I felt a little bit lost at that time. Really. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were both was. lost. Yeah. I was 21, he was 23. We were both very lost. Mm -hmm. We started to hang out and then hang out more. And then I was like trying to find ways to be in the Bronx. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, pl I was plotting. She was. I was like, she was I coming. really like this guy. It wasn't her plotting, it was me going like this. No, it, it, really, her in. it really, yeah. And then, um, and this is where things kind of got difficult because I come from a very religious family. You guys know we come from a, a or maybe you don't know, we're from a, a very um, Pentecostal. We were raised Pentecostal. We were raised um, that when you are a young lady, you leave home. It's also cultural too. You leave home cuando está casada, when you are married. You know, you do not, tu no te queda en la casa de Hena, all right? You don't stay in anybody's house. You, that was like a very, very forbidden thing. And um, I did the forbidden thing. I was- We spent a lot of time together. <laughs> I love how he's like, we spent a lot of time together. And it transitioned into you- Moving, moving in. in. And I, we put <laughs> my mom through so much. I remember one time, oh, and we should ask her this. Is my mom, mommy? She's not Ma. Mic'd. Is she mic'd up? Ma. She tells what? a story. Come here. She tells she tells this story the story so well. Sorry. I told mommy that I was staying over at my friend's house. And mommy, did you believe me at all? Probably not. I don't think she believed me. Not, no. not a chance. Sorry, I put you through so much. I think the late nights were the, the my biggest problem. What do you mean? Like when when it was like I wasn't used to you being out so late and... Yeah, because I, I was never a kid. Yeah. Adrian that nor I were, were very, yeah, we were not out and about. And guys, I was 21, I was an adult. Like I was a full on fledged adult, yeah, but, but again... You stop worrying about your kids, right? That's I mean, true. You're gonna that's know true. that. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, no, just again. Don't. Soon after, I moved in and I know, and I apologize so much because I know that that was very difficult for it you. It was, it was yeah. a difficult time. Yeah. I had to go to therapy. <laughs> we love therapy in this family. It worked out. It did. You it see, did. and it all, it, it all worked out, it guys. Did. It, it did. Out. And thank you, Mommy, for being so patient and for being so understanding. And I look back at those years, and it was so wonderful because we had no money. I was still working my three jobs. Vienna sausages, and, ramen, and noodles. ramen noodles. She bought it all because I had no job. Yeah. And she worked. Like a I worked like a crazy, crazy woman, person. yeah. I worked around the clock and I remember coming home and we were counting the tips that I had made as a waitress. By the way, you know the thing that like it baffles me, like how you're not a morning morning person? Like for the last decade, not she's person. not been a morning person. Like miserable in the morning. I am. And it, I think back to those days, it's like you used to get up, I used to be the one like, 
Yeah, and I was I was hustling. I was get really up and hustle guys, and come back yeah. late and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it was good times though. It was really really good times. We definitely bonded. I appreciated bonded. that. We bonded and it was years. We had of a that. very long honeymoon period. We did have a long honeymoon period. Jared said I love I you. I said first. it in the attic and I can remember exactly where I was standing and what I was looking at. I think I was we're in the attic in that front portion. Mhm. Mm right where the front window is. Yep. And I said I love and you. And he did and I remember that. Yeah. And I told him I was like I hope you know I'm not saying this just as a response. Just as a response. Yeah. Like I was like, I love you. And I think you knew that. Yeah, well, I think that we both knew we were yeah. head over heels in love with one another yeah. well before either of us said it. I guess yeah. the movies makes it like this big, big thing to say. And we, we're, we're not those people, like we're very funny yeah. with that word. If so I say I love you, it means that I love, I love you. you. I really love yeah. you. Yeah, so. yeah. He told me off in the car, yeah. I spoke to my mom, as mother and daughters do. We fought and I was very fresh with her and he looked at me, he said, if you're ever gonna speak to your mother like that, you can't be my girlfriend. And he was like, no girlfriend of mine will ever speak to their mother like that. And I was like. That's your mother. Oh. That's your mother, it's not acceptable I was like, who be... do you think you are? And then yeah. I was like, I love you. <laughs> I was like, I love yeah. this guy. He yeah. would call me out on my BS and I, for those like a year or two, I, I really, guys, mother and daughters, like again, comment below. Mother and daughter relationships yeah. are very difficult. And especially at that age when you're trying to like become free and get your own, you know, have mm. your own life, it's very difficult. And I remember you putting me, and from that moment on, I was like- Mindful of that. Very mindful of how I spoke to my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and so that was a meaningful time for me because, you know, sometimes the, the most significant parts of a relationship where you sh it's where you show growth and growth often happens with conflict and so if you can have that conflict yeah. and then you both grow from it mm -hmm. it it just sh it takes you to another level so again the avalanche of all of these positive things and then out of a negative thing something positive like oh yeah. wow she she listened to me she took it seriously she was receptive yeah i was like wow man this this could be the the start of something really yes really amazing yeah yeah. I literally had nope. no direction. Nope. Yeah. We, no. we, we spent a few years like just kind of living off. And you know, you see this beautiful house, you saw this house tour and people are always telling me, look at that girl. She married, she married well. And I sure did, but it was not because she of didn't, this. She didn't bet on this. That's no, what they're, no, no, no. I and I thank have... God, this is all beautiful. But I always tell you this, if this all goes away, I am just fine with you, and as corny as it sounds, in a small ass apartment, eating ramen noodles. Because we've been there, the number one, mm -hmm. number two, and that's what gives me the confidence to go out there and bet on myself. Yeah. Because you bet on me, I love it. Oh, I like you. He the went into law plan. school and I decided to go, to, be an, uh, to become a nurse, and it was the same year we decided to, um, just try to make a more stable life for with with each other and um so yeah he went into law school and you decided to go away yeah and he was like you're not coming and i was heartbroken Where's that makes me sound like such an asshole no okay. no, no but, not but, at but, all but, 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 no it's not it mm -hmm. wasn't inaccurate well i had i had well, gotten into nursing school that's up here. that you, that's the part it was like yeah you have to do you, you have to do your yeah. thing. I have to do my thing. Yeah. Okay. And then we can come together and you know yeah. be powerful together. So yeah. it wasn't like you ain't coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go do me. No, that wasn't it. It was. <laughs> it was more constructive than that. Yeah, I'd yeah, like yeah. to. I'd like to think. My feelings were hurt though. Yeah, I know. Where did you go? I went to Duke for law school. In driving, it's like a seven and a half hour drive. Yeah. But for how she visited. Which was? It was like 16 hours. 16 hour Greyhound Guys, bus ride. This tell is me. how, let me tell you, even your mother was like, I don't know how you did that, but every weekend I was working so many jobs to scrape together, and I remember $90, it was $90 one way and $90 back, and we had very little money, and I would collect my tips, and if I had $100, I was so excited because I, I could buy my ticket, my Greyhound ticket to North Carolina 
Um, I would leave on Thursdays. I set up my nursing schedule, my nursing school schedule. And I lived during those years, those three years, I lived them in a, in a suitcase, like a, a wheelie, a carry-on. And it was really hard. It was, re I remember just crying all the time. I would have to leave you and get back on that damn Greyhound bus. And guys, if you've ever been on a Greyhound bus, that sh is rough. I tried every weekend. It was, to make, it was, it was damn there every weekend. It was, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot. But it was like uh, almost three years that that I would travel every weekend, and then we decided to um, to live abroad. Yeah. And guys, we lived in Belgium. I took a semester. I took some time off of nursing school. And I think the reason why we did that was because we kind of knew that we wanted to be together and that after this, it was like our um, our lives were gonna take off our career. When are we gonna, guys, use your 20s if you can. Travel. We were broke so and we broke. traveled. But it was such a wonderful experience. Yeah. Like, And we spent that time and it, it was really and nice. And we traveled throughout Europe. We went Every to, weekend. she went to Paris like 50 times. Yeah, and it was really beautiful. We had beautiful. family come out and visit, yeah. and mm -hmm. then we had traveled to different places, Rome and Yeah, wherever. and then yeah. and then we had to come back to reality, and then we finished up our, he finished up law school, and I finished up nursing school, so. So you graduated? We graduated. Both of us in the we same We graduated month. in May, and then in August, Got real. Got real. Yeah. That's for another episode, guys. We broke up. We broke up for a year. Yeah, we broke up for a year. We never lost contact with each other, but it was really hard. Yeah. I was so devastated, guys. Heartbreak is so real. This is the guy that I wanted to marry, and I think that I look back and I go, man, but you, we were really young, and I think it was just a lot. I think it is my belief that that period was necessary. I agree. For us to be where we are today. I 110% agree. Well, to, to that very point where, you know, we went through this breakup phase, there was a lot of self-discovery that happened, right? And it was very easy. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> what? No self-discovery. You're like, self-discovery, and I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, so it, it all ties back to that period of self-discovery. Well, I mean, it was it was very dark for me, actually. You know, the I, I heard that too. Yeah, it was a very because his family was still calling me, being like, "Jared is miserable," and I'm like, yeah. "Oh, really?" Yeah, I was, you know, broke, hungover, and lonely. People always say that the grass is always greener on the other side, but you have to have been on the other side to know that for the mirage that it is. It's a mirage, it's not it's a mirage, real. People, it's, a mirage. it's not real. And so I was on the other side and I, the grass was not green, it was brown, it was desolate. And I had a lot of time to reflect on what I wanted and all roads uh, led back to Claude, for sure. And I was lucky enough that she was still around when I finally came to my senses. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's cold. Now I'm cold. <laughs> I love you. We got back together and all of this beautiful stuff started to happen. And I think that when you grow together, and that can happen at any age, but for us, it was we were younger. When we grow together, there's just such an appreciation for all of this extra stuff. And in anything that you do, whether it's business, whether it's relationships, when it starts so, um, when things are so simple and you have no money and you have, and you're grinding and you're trying your hardest to make it work, when it does work, it is all the sweeter. We got back together. We went full steam ahead. We did a whole surprise wedding. We, had we didn't tell anybody wedding. about. Yeah. If you'd like to hear about that, let us know because that was a that lot was of a fun. Cool we had a one. surprise wedding. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, and everything from then on was very intentional. Like we were very intentional with yeah. our girls when we had the when we had the kids, and it's really been a fun ride with you. Yeah. Yeah. I, a very fun ride. It's been a good ride, baby. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching again. And um, don't forget uh, to hit the subscribe and the notifications and follow us on Instagram. And what else am I forgetting? 
And that's Sounds all. Good. That's it, guys. I'll see you guys hopefully soon. That's good. That's two episodes. All right, guys. We knocked that out. We were good. Jerry, you made this.